Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, teacher. Okay, thank you. Nice. Welcome. Thank you for being on time for the ones that are already right here in the meeting. Nice. Um, well, how are you? How was your Independence Day uh, yesterday? How was it? Uh, Noemi, welcome. Thank you for being on time. Noemi, how are you? Okay, did, did you work? Okay, did you work? Did you work yesterday, um, Noemi? No, I didn't work. Ah, okay, that means that you were resting at home. Uh, so so, because I did the laundry and sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes yesterday I. I started to watch movies in English. Nice. Okay. Nice. So that means that um, that you were be very very busy, even though it was a holiday vacation for you, right? But we always have have many things to do at home, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. So let me turn on the other camera right here. Um, let's see. Uh, what about you, Yolanda? How are you, Yolanda? Hi, teacher. Okay. I'm fine. What, how was the independence date for you? Did you celebrate something? I don't know. It's celebrate. It's commemorate commemoration? No. Yeah, it because is. Because it's different. <laughs> yeah, it we is. don't have any, 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 anything to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, um, but I know. Yes. Okay, uh, we a uh, uh, sister uh, to the march with my family, and uh, in the afternoon we uh, played with a. Uh, our uh, grandsons. Okay. Our granddaughter. <laughs> okay, so it means that you have a grandson and you have a granddaughter. Uh, two granddaughters and one grandson. Ah, okay, and how old are they? Uh, the, the first uh, granddaughter uh, is. Uh, 14 years. Um, oh my gosh. Yes. It's not a uh, baby. Yes. And um, the, the other, uh, the grandson, uh, is, I think, uh, 10 years. And the other gra granddaughter uh, is uh, 10 years too. Ah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. So, well, at least you were, you know, enjoying with them, having uh, something to share with them. Okay, nice. Perfect. Uh, let's see, Vanessa de Los Angeles. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, teacher. Hello, Vanny. What about your camera, Benny? I don't see you. <laughs> arita, arita. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, please. <laughs> Remember okay. that I really want to know you, okay? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So did you do something special during the holiday yesterday, Bunny? No, teacher. Only stay at home. Okay. So you were resting, just doing nothing at home, <laughs> watching movies. <laughs> okay. Mm. Nice. Uh, I... Only do the clean mm. in the house <laughs> and it's all. <laughs> okay, yeah, you were cleaning, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Crisia Munoz. Hello, Crisia. Welcome. How are Hello. you? Sure. I'm good, thank you. Okay, did you work yesterday or you were on vacations? I I were 
I was on vacation. Oh my god, nice. Yes. And what did you do? <laughs> uh, my my friends came at home. Mm -hmm. Came to visit uh, you. Came? Mm -hmm. How can I say? Yeah, they, if came. they came, okay, in they past, came. right? They came to come for you. <laughs> oh, delicious. Yes. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Like, like Christmas, right? <laughs> <laughs> Like Christmas, the famous it's uh, chicken bread. It's a tradition bread. when when they came. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. So you eat delicious. Yeah. Okay, at home. Okay, perfect. So right now, I don't know what happened with the rest. We are just six. Okay, and today we are going to finish the. We are going to finish the last section, okay? Section number five. And uh, well, next Monday we will have the last class, right? It's not today, it's the last, um, last Monday. So not, next Monday we will do just like a quick review about the final quiz, about the final exam. And probably we will do different activities just to talk okay so it's not topics in, in in general but we will do different activities okay in order for us to talk and talk and talk and talk because that's the idea right use the language okay so armando welcome armando antonio how are you armando antonio oh nice hello good evening how are you armando Perfect. So did you rest yesterday or you were working? Uh, no, no, teacher, no working. I work in my a little on my platform and play a, a soccer game. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, relax. Okay, you were enjoying the holiday yesterday, okay, yeah. at home. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, I, thank you. I know March in the street. <laughs> oh, okay, just like that, just like that, okay. okay. Well, nice. What about you, Andrea Sosa? Welcome. Thank you for your camera, Andrea. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Thank you. And you? Well, I'm so excited because today is Friday, even though it's Thursday, but for us it's Friday because we don't have class tomorrow, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. And on Monday we have the last class, right? And Monday is the last, last, last day. But I'm extremely happy, okay? I'm extremely happy because we have the chance and the opportunity to have this class. Well, I don't know what happened with the rest. I guess some of you... Well, some of them, I have a couple of message right here, but I haven't listened the audio that I have, but well, I guess that they are uh, joining the meeting. We have Dagoberto Rodriguez right now in the meeting as well. And well, we are going to finish, as I told you, we are going to finish today the last exercise that we have, okay? So uh, let me share the screen really quick. And, we will see right here. Okay, yeah. Right now, let me double check right here. We are going to finish, as I told you, the last, 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 um, section from the unit number five. So I guess and I hope that you were able to complete also your activities in the platform. Okay, hopefully you are done. My goodness, why this is so big. Okay, I don't know what happened with my computer. It's kind of weird. Okay, so let me right here share the screen because 
I don't know why everything gets closed. I already have this open, but I don't know what happened. But let me share right here the presentation that we have for today. Okay, this one. Okay, this is the last part that we learned on the last class. So this is class number 15 and we have just one more. Uh, let's see, Yolanda, please help us with the reading for this objective that we have right here. In this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Perfect, thank you. So in this section, so this is a comparison between the uh, simple past and the present perfect. Did you remember that that was something that we were uh, discussing in the last class, right? So what is uh, like a comparison when we are going to use the simple past and when we are going to use the present perfect, okay? Because sometimes, it's kind of similar, but it's not the same, right? So we see some examples about when we are going to say, yeah, I ate pupusas last week, okay? Or this is the, I had been eating pupusas since I were a child, right? So that is how we use the present perfect and the simple past. So uh, let's see the conversation that we have. Actually, I have, that is the name of the conversation. Just let me uh, review right here the exercise and we will be able to listen, okay? So right now, let's see, I guess more people is joining. Yeah, now we are 11, hopefully. Actually, I have, right? Here is the conversation. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. And that way we will be able to see it right here. Okay, so here we go. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Oh my goodness, I don't know what happened with this. Let me double check right here. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No. No, this is the, the same conversation that we had last time. Let me double check. Actually, I have. Yeah, that's the one. So this is already covered. Let me see the next test. Yeah, this one used the present perfect and the simple past. This is the one. Okay, so let me play this one. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, so this is something about the uh, simple past and the present perfect, okay? Let me make it bigger one more time right here. And we have an exercise right here that we are going to uh, do together, okay? So let's see, let's do it right now. This is the example that we have right here. And it says uh, present perfect uh, versus 
past simple. Okay, look, there are 10 uh, sentences. Well, there are some questions right there that we need to decide, right? If this one will be a simple past, so it will be a present perfect sentence, okay? So we are going to create just like three groups because we are just a third team and you have four minutes only. Remember that all the activities are just for uh, four minutes because it's just one hour for the class, right? So let me create uh, three groups. And well, it will be just two, I guess, because we are just, I will be yeah, three groups, okay? So what we are going to do is uh, complete the sentence, okay? We have four minutes to do it. And you are going to decide if the sentence or the question, if it's a question will be with present perfect or with the simple past. Remember that you need to use the verbs that we have in parentheses, okay? Are we clear about what we are going to do in the groups? Yes? Yes. Yep. Okay, thank you, perfect. Let's yes, create teacher. the groups right now.
Teddy's parents. No. <laughs> Teddy's no. parents. Um, have, 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 is parents in a restaurant for a long time. Having hate, hate, having eaten, having eaten, eating. Yes, it's the parties. Okay. Eden. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, okay. Eden. A few a days few ago, days ago so we near near our house. Simple past. So. So. Mm. So. And six. So. His friends arrived at the a party. few days ago. So an accident near. Oh, wow. House. <coughs> His friends arrive. O sea, pregunta si los amigos regresaron eh, o llegaron ah. eh, una hora, tem o sea, a temprana hora, ¿no? I uh -huh. think it's, I don't know, it's, a, it's past, ¿no? But I don't, I am not after, sure. After, is the past. Because it's not the activity, o sea, o sea this, that started in the past and continues in the present. Right. Yeah, it's, it's Did his friend arrive uh, at the party? Right, at the party uh, an early. hour early? Uh -huh. Okay. The other number seven. Number seven. This is present perfect. Yes. I agree. I has my pet. I have had. I have my had my pet for my six pet. months. I have has. Had. I have. I have had. I don't.
have a lot of doubts, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. So I guess, let's see, we are all in the main room. So we will sit together, okay? No problem. So uh, now we are 12, okay? So Cesar, welcome, Cesar. Rafa, nice to see you, Rafa. Perfect. So thank you. <laughs> nice. So let's see. Let me let me let me share the screen one more time. Yeah, you are not seeing the screen. So let me share the screen one more time and we will see uh, what we have. Okay, what we have. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we will see together, okay? Let's see, Milagro, Mira, number one, Milagro, read your answers, please, with your team. Okay. Sorry, Teddy isn't here. He he went to the park. Okay, that will be past simple, right? Te, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, te, Teddy isn't here. He went. Okay, he simple went. past. He went to the park. Okay, so that is an action that is over. Okay, so probably it's not there anymore. Just he went. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Florence, the second one, please. Okay, teacher. I don't know if it's correct because they are difficult, okay. but I tried. He hasn't drank anything because he, he isn't be thirsty. Okay, yeah, they, this one is present perfect, right? So he hasn't drank anything, okay? Él no, él no ha tomado uh -huh. nada. Nada. So that's how we say it in Spanish, right? Él aún no ha tomado nada. O sea, probably después sí, right? But right now he haven't, okay? So... He wasn't, be, he wasn't thirsty. Because he was, exactly, he wasn't thirsty, no tenía sed, right? So probably later he okay. drinks something, so we don't know, right? But that is an, act, an action that start in the past and also can affect right now because probably now he's drinking water, soda, whatever, right? But in the past, he hasn't drank anything because he wasn't, he wasn't or he was not dirty no no estaba sediendo okay nice okay. perfect thank you can, Yo... can, can i say he didn't drink anything because he wasn't dirty was yeah if you use uh, uh, he didn't drink anything because he wasn't dirty it makes sense as well. It makes sense. But in this case, it sounds better with the present perfect. Él no había tomado nada. Porque later, probably he drinks something, okay? Be careful with the, with the meat. Let me meet right here. Okay, so as I told you, yeah, it, it sounds nice if you put it like that, but in this case, if you use the translation, él no tomó nada porque no, no estaba sediento o no tenía sed. That's how we say it in Spanish, right? So, can be as well, the past, a simple past, okay? Uh, Dagoberto, nice to see you, Dagoberto. What happened with you the last class? Oh my goodness. Usted se agarró el holiday antes de tiempo. Ah, eh, ah okay. Ah, okay, Dagoberto. Next Monday we have the last class, okay? So oh, okay. please do not miss it, okay? <laughs> so, but it's nice to see you, Dagoberto. Thank you. Teacher. Yes? Teacher. I have a question. Go ahead. Jana. I have a question. Yes, uh, in the case of number two, is he hasn't, is D R U U drunk, no drunk. Yeah, it's dream, drunk, drunk, drunk. Okay, yeah. Mm, it's not, no, dream, I think it's drunk, drunk. Uh huh. Yes, yeah. it's drunk. Drunk. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. that is the no, past participle. 
Okay. okay, yeah, that's true. The pronunciation is that it's incorrect. Okay, no problem. Um, let's see the next one. Yolanda, go ahead with the number three. <laughs> this is the only, I am sure it's okay. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, menos mal que lo preguntamos. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, let me, give me a second, teacher, because I don't mm -hmm. have the, the complete sentence. Okay, in this case, is Teddy bought a lot of apples in the market yesterday. It's okay, the <laughs> perfect. Yeah, right. Remember, we have an expression right there, right? Yesterday, that is an expression just for the uh, simple past, right? So when we see yesterday, last week, last, last, last month, two days ago, so those are simple past expressions, okay? That means that the activity is over, over, over. Nice. Uh, let's see, Andrea, Andrea Sosa, please help us with the number four. Oh, four. Okay. Uh, Teddy parents, uh, they have not eaten in a restaurant for a long time. Mm -hmm. That is a present perfect, right? Teddy's uh, parents. So that is a plural, right? So haven't, okay? Haven't eaten in a restaurant for a long time, okay? No, no quiere decir que nunca han comido, right? So, but for a long time, they haven't probably uh, visited in a restaurant, but that doesn't mean that they never went in a restaurant in all their life, right? So that's why it's present perfect. Uh, Caesar, welcome, Caesar. Nice to see you, Caesar. Uh, continue with the next one, please. Uh, Caesar, number five. A few days ago, we seen have seen an accident near her house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, let's see, Caesar, this event. It is over or, or is right here in the moment? What do you think about, about the content? Do you think that this event is still in progress or it's a, an event that it's already gone? That means that it's closed, it's already happened. Ah, in present, uh, present person. Mm -hmm. Remember that okay. present perfect is when start in the past, but it's still in the in the present, okay? And simple past is when the activity is over, okay? It's already closed, it's already expired. Look at the look at the this the the beginning of the sentence says a few dates ago. Okay, a few ago. dates ago. So that will be. Past simple, okay? A few days ago, we saw an accident near our house. No está el accidente ahorita, okay? El accidente fue a few days ago. No va a estar ahí la gente tirada todavía, right? So eso ya pasó, okay? So that is simple past, okay? Remember uh, that we mentioned that present perfect es una actividad que sí pasó en el e inició en el pasado, pero still tiene su, 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 su actividad en el presente, está afectando el presente. In this case, a few days ago, okay, eso fue hace un par de días, ya it's over, okay. So that it will be a simple past, okay. Nice. Uh, Rafael, help us please with the number six. Did his friend arrive at the party an hour early? Perfect, okay, that will be past simple, right? Simple past with the did as an auxiliary because this is a question, right? Did his friends arrive at the party an hour early? So it's, they are already there, it's already over, right? Nice. Um, let's see, the next one will be for, uh, Vanessa, Vanessa, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, I think uh, 
is I have had my pet for six months. Perfect, yeah, yes. okay, this is present perfect, right? So for six months until now, no dice que el perrito o el, la mascota, lo que sea que esté muerto, right? Dice que I have had my pet for six months, okay? Nosotros decimos, okay. ah, yo tengo este perico desde hace 20 mm -hmm. años, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the expression, right? So still okay. that. The animal is alive. Ahora, si ya se muere, usted va a decir en pasado, yo tuve un perro, yo tuve un gato, right? Nice. Okay, uh, let's see the next one, the next one. Crisia, go ahead, Crisia. I no clue. Um, mm, yeah, number eight. Daddy watch TV today. Did Teddy watch TV today? Exactly. Okay. That is simple pass. Okay. So it's ya pasó. Están preguntando que si vio, right? Did Teddy watch a TV today? So yes or no, we don't know, but the activity it's over. No dice que Teddy has been watching TV for three hours already. Okay. No, it says just a question and the activity it's over. Nice. Sure. Um, go ahead. Sure. We have a, a, a discussion about that. Uh, I don't. It's possible to say uh, in the present perfect the sentence. Mm, or not, or is it not really, not really because of the expression. Remember that present perfect. You need to have like an expression like still now at this moment at this point so in that case in that question the activity it's over i see the header that let's see have been teddy watching tv for long time so que no sabemos desde cuando hasta cuando está watching tv right so probably yeah you can ask that question in present perfect but you need to change the expressions that identify that it's a un not period, okay? Cuando usted no ha estado, digamos, en la casa y usted le dice a su hijo, ha estado viendo la televisión todo el día, so we don't know, okay? It's like probably empezó y todavía está viendo la TV. But in this case, it's a closed question, okay? Es vio televisión Teddy o fulanito eh, ahora, sí o no? Simple, okay? So, la, las expresiones del past simple and del present perfect make the difference, okay? So, el, ahí se identifica el, el tiempo that we need to use, okay? Nice. Let's see the next one. My goodness. Let the next. Noemi, Yesenia, go ahead, please. Number nine. Okay. I think it's very spent at a few days in Canada last year. Perfect. Yeah, that is past simple, right? He has spent the dates last year, okay? Not today, okay? Not today, okay? So that is the um, simple past, okay? Perfect. And the last one, Dagoberto, please, the last one, number 10. Uh, she did all her homeworks. Now she can play. Perfect, simple pass, right? So she's done with everything. Now she can do whatever she wants, okay? Like the little kids, right? If you do your homework so you can go out. So the activity is over. Let's see, uh, let's continue, let's continue. My goodness, time is flying. Uh, let's see, Rosario Melendez, please help us with the, with the reading. Okay, objective. In this session, the use of for and sign will be explaining through an audio and not the expressions. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, in this section, the usage of for and scenes. Okay, for and scenes will be explained. Okay, throughout an audio. An audio throughout. What is throughout? A través. Ah, okay, throughout an audio, no the expression. So, for and seems, okay? 
So we have right here, let me let me put it right here, the, the audio. Okay, this one. Four and six. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time, for six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since 2 o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. And uh, with these two expressions, sometimes we get confused, okay? But the thing is that you need to validate if the next or the expression or the idea that you are trying to communicate is a specific or is like general. Look at right here in this picture. It says right here, seems and for, okay? Seems is a little bit more specific, okay? When you have a specific time, when you have something that you will be able to provide like details. And uh, for is like duration of time, it's like general, and it's like um, sometimes like unknown, okay? Seems when something a star. Look at the examples that we have right here. It says, uh, for example, I had been studying since 9 a.m. Okay, it's, it is very specific and you know since when you are doing the activity. She has been a teacher since 2015. Okay, Ali has lived in London since April. Okay, so the seems will be very specific. Okay, so you have like the, 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 the detail specifically from the time okay and we will use four that means a duration of period and it goes until now for example i have been studying for three hours okay the three hours are over okay now the three hours are over but you have been studying for three hours she will be in the office for two hours okay so that is uh, a specific like seems, but it's until now. So that is the difference. Look at right here, it says just now, and right here we have um, now, but it's like over, okay? Over the activity. She has lived in London for, for three months, okay? She has lived in London for three months. I don't know if we are clear in this part. So that we need to use, definitely, we need to use the expressions to practice because sometimes we don't know if we need to use since or for because this, the, if you translate it, they are really similar. Usted busca la traducción de estas dos palabras son similares, okay? Desde, right? Yo he estado viviendo en El Salvador desde tal año, right? Seems, okay? Y usted me va a decir, yo llevo viviendo en El Salvador dos años, okay? So, I had, I had been living in the U.S. since 2000, in one, un ejemplo, right? Or I live in El Salvador for 
two years, okay? So that, that will be the way that we use uh, these expressions, okay? Seems and four. Uh, we have right here uh, some examples that we need to complete. Just let me put it right here, okay? So probably the time won't be enough. Let's see what time is, okay, we have like 10 minutes. So let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together. And uh, we will see the we will see the the answers, okay? So let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together. I will give you just one two minutes, okay? And we will read the uh, the sentences, and we will see, okay, like the the answers right here. I don't know if you, did you study the birds? ¿Cuántos verbos se han aprendido ya? Ya los vamos a preguntar. Los phrasal verbs, eso ya se los aprendieron todos los, los 200 <laughs> phrasal verbs. Okay, so I already shared with you as well a picture in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, we all are in the group, so you see more details about these two uh, words that sometimes they look like really really similar, but we need to know okay when we are going to use it. So if you see seems, it's a point in the time, most likely in the past, okay? Seems it says a uh, starting point, okay? Seems 2012, I had been living in Spain since 2012. And uh, four, four will be more for a period of time, a number of time work, okay? So that means that you have be, uh, something very uh, specific, right? For 10 minutes, for six months, for the last year to three years, okay? So that is uh, how we will say, okay? Look, I have been living in Spain for six years, okay? I have been living in Spain since 2012, okay? So really, really common, right? Really, really similar, but we need to be able to identify and also the content, right? El el content que de la sentence también nos va a ayudar a identificar which one is the one that we are going to select, okay? So let's see the, the first one. Let's see, uh, Rafael, go ahead go with the number one, please. Emma has been a member of the Karate Club since last summer. Okay, since last summer. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le he preguntado, los que no me ponen la cámara. Vamos a ver. Um, let's see, Armando, Armando, si no le he preguntado. Let's see, Armando Antonio. 
Harry has played soccer uh, for three or four four months. Okay. Harry has played soccer for four months. Okay. Okay, nice. That's the correct one. Um, Yolanda, Yolanda. I know que ya le pregunté, pero ya no hay quien preguntarle. Okay. Go ahead, Yolanda, please. Uh, okay. Uh, Luis has had his, I don't know, kit. Okay. Kite. 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 Uh, since he was eight years old. Perfect. Luis has had his kite. Uh, seems he was eight years old. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Uh, the next one, Caesar. Go ahead, please. Number four. Uh, um, has lived in some town for nine years. Okay. Let's see. And has lived in the same town for nine years. Okay. Yes. Perfect, Caesar. Let's see the next one, Rosario, please, Rosario, the next one, number five. Okay. Uh, David has practiced soccer since January. There you go. David has practiced soccer since January. Uh, Milagro, please, number uh, six. You are on mute, Milagro, sorry. Sorry, teacher. Uh, no. Jen has studied at her new school um, since since three months. Mm. Four, mm. four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four, right? Jen four. has studied at her new school for three months, okay? That's the time that she has in the new school. Perfect. Thank you, Milagro. Andrea, go ahead with the number seven, please. Okay. George has living in Buenos Aires uh, since six years. Hmm. Let's see. George has lived in Buenos Aires. That will be four. Okay. Four, six years. Okay. Four, six years. And let's see the next one. Florence, please, number eight. Sorry, Florence. I know Molly's last winter. Perfect. Thank you. There I you go. Okay. Sorry, que se le cortó ahí un poquito. But yeah, then at the end, I listen to you. Okay. Sorry, Florence. I know Molly. Seems last winter, perfect. Okay, Bane, Bane, the number nine, please. Last winter. Uh, Lucy has played the guitar since she was three years old. Perfect. Lucy has played the guitar since as she was a three years old. Okay, and the last one, Chrysia, please go ahead with the last one. May has been in the festival for. 20 minutes. Perfect. Mary has been in the festival for 20 minutes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Well, yeah, we did it. Okay. We did it together. Okay. So with this part, we finished the uh, unit number five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as I told you, today is not the last day of class because still we have the next Monday. Okay. Obviously, tomorrow we don't have class. Okay. No, I haven't mañana que. Aquí no va a haber nadie, okay? So be careful because uh, we don't have class tomorrow, but we do have class next Monday, okay? So now let me ask you, and I guess that we are all done with the platform, okay? Hasta el momento, pues el día de ayer, creo que solo una persona me escribió por ahí para decirme que le ayudara con una parte de un ejercicio. Then the rest... Uh, well, I'm assuming that we are done, okay? Uh, Inglés Corporativo, you know, they are the ones who review the activities in the platform. So I'm able to see the progress, but the final score, they are the ones who are on charge of doing it, right? So yo no puedo ver el final, digamos, 
cómo van. Eso lo ven ellos de la parte administrativa. So, uh, for right now, until now, I don't have any name, okay? Normally, when someone is like, you know, behind everything, so me mandan, mire, dígale a fulanito, sutanito, que, que, que va atrasado, right? So that's what they do, but so far I haven't received any message from them. So I'm assuming that we are good, right? So that's what I expect, right? That's what I hope, porque si no, lo va a quedar reprobado. O sea, aquí usted sabe que el trabajo de la plataforma y su asistencia es el pase a su siguiente módulo, right? Aquí nadie, no hay maestro que aplace a nadie, ok? La, la, la metodología es diferente, ok? So you are the one, you are the, the one that is responsible of your activities, your job, and you have to do it, ok? And if you need help, so as I told you since the very first day, you can get in contact with me and I always will answer your message, probably not immediately, but I will, okay? I will answer. So, so far, I guess that we are done. Uh, raise your hand ahí en el Zoom. You can raise your hand in the Zoom if you are done. Si ya usted está al 100% con su plataforma, póngame ahí la manita. Para yo ver que sí, que bien, nice, nice. Four participants, five, five out of 14. Y los demás, solo cinco. Oh, okay, we have Dagoberto as well, right there. Done. Uh, thank you, Yolanda. Now we have six. Um, let's see. Thank you, Chris, Rosario, Rafa, Noemi, Florence. Uh, Dagoberto, Crisia, Cesar, what about you, Cesar? Uh, no, the exam five in uh, sentences and the audio. Uh, um, excuse me, no, um, tell me in the. Okay, so you have, but you are in the lesson number five. That's what I understood. So please send me a message, Caesar, in which exercise you need help because we need to do it during this week. Okay, so mandame un mensajito ahí para ayudarle. Okay, Milagro, what about you, Milagro? Uh, did you complete everything in the platform still? No, teacher. I... I am a 85%. Okay, but you already reached 85, but you need to be in 100, okay? So if you need help, Milagro, please send me a message, okay, to see what Thank happened. You, mm -hmm. Andrea, what about you, Andrea? The last part in the exam, I check uh, for uh, activities uh, que realiza, re realize in the, the girl, the hit in, the, in the history. Mm -hmm. That is like a, the listening part, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que es una lectura. Mm -hmm. That is like so, a paragraph. Uh, but uh, check in siempre me da error. Ok, mándenme, escriba mi mensajito privado, please, para ver, porque sí, varios les dio ese, ese que le ponían ahí una, dos, tres, cuatro y le daba error, pero ahí están las, cuáles son las correctas, ok? So, I'm sorry. No, no, eh, eh, for only four eh, sentences, valid, valid, in activity. Ok, se, se le pone mieta ahí, César. I don't know why. Ok, send me a message, uh, please, uh, César. Escríbame igual a Andrea y Milagro si necesitan ayuda. Then the rest, I'm assuming que we are done. Ok, no quiero que me vayan a hacer la sorpresa ahí el día lunes que <laughs> no han terminado porque ahí los voy a castigar. Ah, mentira. <laughs> okay, no, but we have to do it, okay? Please, uh, if you need help, let me know, okay? Time is over. Thank you so much for your attendance. And I hope to see you next Monday, okay? Tomorrow we don't have class. So 
relax, enjoy your weekend, and I hope to see you on Monday for the last day. Please be here, okay? We will review the exam and we will do uh, different activities for you to talk, okay? Ya no vamos a ver nada de temas en sí, solo si ustedes quieren hacer un review, algún recap de algo, we can do it. Pero lo que vamos a hacer son different like activities, games for you to talk, ¿ok? Para que usted hable, 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 ¿ok? And use the language, ¿ok? That's the idea. So, thank you and I hope to see you on Monday. Please enjoy your weekend and take care, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. See you, take teacher. Care. See, see you, you on Monday. Que terminemos el examen, dice la señorita, porque no vamos a terminar el examen. Vamos a hacer ahorita. Ay, sí, está bien. Gracias a Dios. Hicimos la clase. Tenía sueño de hoy.